bet followed it if we'd see it going into a sinkhole or something. Cold. Uh, so we basically we flew a laser over the park in an aircraft and just measured very accurately all the rises and falls in the topography. Uh, and then we just printed off a map and, and followed it around and, and as, as we've discovered we've had a 100% success rate in predicting where these things occur. Uh, because of the unique habitat that they present uh, to the park, we, there are certain types of species and ecosystems that only exist uh, in these sinkholes or karst formations. And also they're, they're kind of an entryway um, to other types of ecological studies. You know, uh, one of the things that we're interested in investigating uh, is how water flows underground in the park um, and where it goes once it, once it hits the under, underground. So being able to identify where all these depressions and sinkholes are in the park is, is allowing us to understand better how all these different ecosystems interact with each other. See how that leave see right the there grass is, leaves is here blowing moving. in the breeze? There's some sort of breeze going here. I don't see the others doing that nearby. So in terms of life in the cave, there's stuff that's troglobitic. It just stays in the cave all the time. And we have some things down here. We have some things that are strictly stay their whole lives and it probably evolved since marine times are in this area. Then there's stuff, there's life that occurs around this high humidity a cooler area that vents around around here and you'll find stuff on on the limestone rocks and on you know there's species of beetles in the park that occur just around the entrance there's this a little liverwort I talked about that's found uh, just it's probably less than a square meter of it known to science and it's just on these little boulders and stuff and then there's things that come and use it periodically there are cave salamanders, there are mm -hmm. bats, there mm -hmm. are things like that, and they can detect these things and uh, mm -hmm. use them mm -hmm. for So they're kind of, it's not the most important thing in the park maybe, but it's one of the little nuggets of biodiversity, a little node where we have lots How of long? things happening. 100. You want me to GPS this one too? Yeah. You're going to get me a point here? Mm -hmm. That would be most welcome. 